Hi everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Attic, uh, my hobbies channel. This is a channel for adults, so it's for people aged 13 and above. <coughs> Excuse me. Today I got the new Hannah Lynn book and I'm very, very excited about it. So uh, the new book is called Whimsy Girls at Work and it features 30 different images of girls doing various jobs. There are, as usual, two pictures of each, two copies of each picture. But why I am very, very excited about this one is because if you remember the um, fairy tale princesses book, she put out the fairy tale princesses and then she put out a simplified version as well where she zoomed in on the girls and took out a lot of the background. Well, with this book, you get one copy that's full and detailed and the second copy is the simplified version so it's zoomed in, there's less background details. So I'm very excited because I will probably colour both versions, one probably using markers and one probably using pencils. But I'm very excited about that so let's have a look at it. So here we go. So as usual you get two pages that show you the titles, I'm not going to remember them all. Um, a couple of them I will, but I won't remember them all, so I'll refer to them by different names, but... <laughs> so, which is nice, you get the tiny little thumbnails. So the first one is Rosie, which is uh, based on the, the wartime pin-up Rosie the Riveter, who was put out to, to get women into war work, into working in the factories and doing what was men's jobs. So that's fantastic. So this is the... I mean, it's a simple picture anyways, but the in-depth version has it zoomed into her and it's taken out the We Can Do It bubble. So that's fantastic, it means you can do it twice. So the second one is cleared for takeoff and our lovely girl is a pilot. And then on the simplified version it's zoomed in. The instrument panels are there, but because it's zoomed in there's just not as much information. Uh, you haven't got the cones and the lines on the runways, so it's a lot simpler. So if you don't fancy tackling the in-depth version, you can go for the second one. So this one is Take Your Seat, so she's a school teacher. So there you haven't got the work workings on the chalkboard or the whiteboard, however you want to colour it. And then this one is Framing Day, so they're putting a house, she's putting a house frame up. Makes it a lot easier if you don't fancy doing all the fiddly little bits. You can just colour the zoomed in version and then later on you can do the more in depth one if you wanted to. This one I think is called Lily's Lab, so she's a scientist. I'm doing quite well remembering the names of them so far. This is my favourite. Uh, it's something like Curtain Up in Five Minutes or something it's called. I will check. Five minutes to curtain. So we've got a little actress in her dressing room. Beautiful. Obviously I like acting so this is my favourite one. <laughs> Been a bit of an actor in my day. And then the next one is the uh, police officer. And that one's called To Protect and Serve which makes sense. So again the close-up's not got the car in the background so. We've got Latte to go, so she's a barista in a coffee shop. I like this, so cute. And then the next one, if I can turn the page, is Rise and Shine, which is the, the farmer, so obviously it goes this way. So you've got the tractor and the hills and the sun, and then it's an upright version, very zoomed in. Next one is Boss Lady. There she is at her desk. So again, you haven't got all the buildings in the background, so if you didn't want to colour them, you don't have to. <coughs> now I know some people just blank out the things they don't want to do. Special delivery, so she's a postal worker. This one, I love her hair here. Love her hair in that one. And again, you've got all the so you can see you've got a lot more detail in this version and then in this version it's a lot more simplified. And then this one is Hold Please. Yeah, Hold Please. So she's a secretary. And again, simplified version is great. You know, I'm, I will colour both of these versions in. This one's Fashion Week. Yeah, Fashion Week. So she's a fashion designer. 
So if you look there, you've got all the fabrics in the background to colour in there and different dresses on the rail. But in this one you haven't, so you know, you've just got plain bolts of fabric rather than the patterned ones. This one is Space Explore. Hold please and fashion designer are the wrong way round. Yeah, on the list, hold please is after fashion week. But I don't think it matters. Space Explorer. And then the next one is the library. Laura's library. I like that one. So again, quite in depth, lots of books. A bit closer, still got lots of books, but as it's bigger, it's going to be easier to colour. We've got a lady mechanic, which is Sherry's shop. Veronica's patient, so she's a vet in this one. I like the clock with the little paws, the numbers. So cute. There you go. This one's the mom and her kids. And breakfast routine. That's cute though. And if you look a bit closer, you get into the closer version without so much in depth, which is great. Check up time, so she's a doctor in this one. Uh, I, I just love it. I think it's fantastic. This one is Seaside Signing. So if you look, you can see the sea and there's a little boat up there. And her books. She's signing her books. I like that. That one. And again, in close, closer up, so you haven't got as many books to, to fill out. And the little boat's gone. <laughs> so I'm having trouble turning these pages. Um, the next one is the hairdresser, which is Cut and Colour. Nice. This time they got rid of the bricks around the mirror, so I just think this book's fantastic. Mission accomplished, so she's a soldier in this one. I'm just looking at the next two titles. So the next one is in the studio, so she is an artist. It's Hannah herself. <laughs> And then this one is Chef Special. So this one, she's a little chef. I like her hair in that one as well, and a little chef's hat. It's very cute. So I could actually see Jennifer when she's a bit older colouring these like, versions. So I might get another copy of the book for her when, for when she's older, if she's into colouring. Madam President, if only. We won't get into politics on here. And then this one is Reef Study. A nice one, marine biologist person. Uh, this is on the scene, so I'm assuming she's a mountain climber. She's at the top of the mountain looking at it, or mountain rescue, or something like that. But I like that one. And then we have lunch shift, so she's a waitress. Another one I like, perfect shot because I'm a photographer too. I'm going to hurry this up because my battery is running out. That one. And then Pearly Whites and she's a dentist. So there we go. That is A Whimsy Girl's at Work by Hannah Lynn. All I can say is it's a fantastic book. It shows that girls can do anything they put their mind to, anything they want to. It's such a great sort of feminist book, but they're really pretty girls too. So uh, this is a book I'd let Jennifer kind of colour in when she's older, definitely. Um, I love it. It's exciting. It's different. And it's Hannah Lynn. You've got everything you could possibly want. So I will leave a link to the UK and US Amazon versions in the description box below. And Go get a copy. It's fantastic. I love it. I, I just can't wait to see what Hannah Lynn puts out next. And I will be ordering more Hannah Lynn books shortly, uh, ready for John the Bibliophile Colourist's uh, Artist of the Year next year. So that's it from today. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to this to this channel and uh, share and share with your friends. And like I said, leave me a comment. I'll see you all soon. Bye.